What's up guys, my name's Trevor and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can make $10,000 per month with just one self-published book. You might see this title and think, hey, like this is YouTube, uh, he's using uh, clickbait on me here. But in fact, this is a real video and if you follow these steps that we're gonna be talking about in the video, it will probably be your reality within one to two years. So let me just break things down a bit. <clears throat> I got into publishing late 2016, early 2017, and things have changed so much in the last few years, like drastically different as a publisher back in 2017 and as a publisher in 2021 now. So back in 2017, the name of the game was volume. It was like, all right, let's get as many books out as we can. Let's put them on as many platforms as possible. You know, we want these books on KDP. Uh, we want to put them on draft to digital. We want them on ACX. And, uh, you know, maybe we would even go off and use some of the aggregate platforms like draft to digital. Uh, we put them on Ingram spark and things like find away voices. So, Back then, it was just like, all right, if, if one if one book makes this amount of money, then 10 will make this amount and 100 will make this amount. So we were publishing like crazy. We we're putting up tons of books. And it was a lot of work. And honestly, it was boring. A lot of the books were not in the same niche. We were just chasing keywords. And ultimately, uh, most of the people that did this over the last few years, their business has not grown. It's gone downhill because poor quality is no longer going to cut it in 2021. Um, you're competing with better books and uh, better brands. Like it, the market is still very open and especially on the audiobook side, but it's not the same. You can't get away with publishing garbage. So things have changed. Uh, one of the strategies over the last couple of years uh, before things kind of evolved was to put out your book but you would be mainly making it for ACX. So you'd be making a book mainly for audio because comparatively, there's just way, way, way more books in paperback and Kindle form than there is on, uh, on Audible. So you would make your books with the benefit of ranking on Audible and getting that easy money because there is a, there is very little competition. So people would go and do that and they make an okay book for audio. They would use the ACX promo codes, which allowed their book to rank. And it would also, they would get paid for all the promo codes. That's gone now. But this would cover the cost of the book creation. And then you would rank the audiobook. And then usually the paperback, it wouldn't have been done correctly. So it would maybe get a couple of reviews or, you know, it would get a negative review and it would be kind of just dead. So people were publishing mainly for the audio side of things. And this is a big mistake uh, because the reality is that paperbacks and Kindle, that marketplace was more competitive. So if they didn't put in the effort there and they didn't put in the, the right amount of effort to get reviews and to launch the book appropriately and even build a brand, uh, that book was gonna die out. So every now and then though, you put out a book and for you know whatever reason it would review decently and the quality wasn't too bad. So those paperbacks or those Kindles would end up kind of performing okay. So people would end up running ads to those and then they would focus on the audiobooks and then like 80 or 90% of their books would barely make anything because they did a poor job and they didn't launch them and they had no reviews or anything. So they would just sit and die off. So these people would have like 100, 150 books and then only a very small amount of them would make any money. So back in early 2019 ish, uh, I held a audiobook income Academy or an AIA like unofficial meetup for Canadians, uh, people in Vancouver specifically. And we all met up and we had some drinks and it was a really good time. One person in particular, his name's Kyle. Um, I consider him a pretty good friend. Now we, he showed up and we were all talking about, you know, yeah, yeah, more volume, pump up more books, get more audiobooks. And I think Kyle at the time, he had like maybe like three books. And he was making six figures a year off this. And I was kind of like, 
huh, that's interesting. You know, the guy, the guy barely had any books, but like he was making his money. I just thought it was like an anomaly. It made no sense to me because it was all about the volume game at the time. Fast forward to late 2019. Uh, I'm with my friend Dewan. We're in Bali and we're doing a visa run. So we're getting on a plane to head to Kuala Lumpur. And basically you have to go leave the country for a day and come back in. Then you get a new visa. So me and him are on the plane and we're discussing, uh, we're discussing publishing. And he says to me, he says, you know, he's like, you need to build a brand. And I'm saying, no, 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 man. Like, uh, I, I do the shotgun method. We just, you know, a good keyword, fire a book out on that, fire a book out on this. None of the pen names are connected. Like, you know, we're just chasing money kind of thing. Like, and he's like, no, no, you argued with me. He's like, no, it's, it's gotta be, it's gotta be branded. You need to have a buyer that wants to buy all your books and your books need to be really high quality. So I, I didn't disagree with them, but I wasn't thinking this way, but it opened up my mind again. And I went back to thinking about Kyle and then Dewan's talking about branding and he described the books, Dewan described the books as grandma books. So we're coining the term grandma books. And that means that when you put a book out, you shouldn't be embarrassed of it. It should be something that you put your name on and you take it to your grandma and you be like, hey grandma, I this is my book, like give it a read and you'd be proud of it. If you don't feel that way about a book, you should never be putting it out in the first place. And most of you, that have been publishing since maybe 2017 or a ways back, you would probably agree that you would be embarrassed to get a printed copy of the majority of your books and go take them to your grandma or to your family and show them because you know that you didn't put in as much effort as you should have. So again, fast forward into 2020, I was starting to realize that all the books of mine that were selling consistently had good reviews and they had like a decent amount of reviews. And it was just a mixture of the fact that I was running ads to them and getting organic sales that these reviews had built up and these books were selling consistently. And also the books that were selling the most consistent were also the ones that were kind of branded. I did a really poor job because I didn't understand it back then, but they were kind of branded and they had some reviews and they were doing pretty good. And I had this moment where I realized that, hey, um, I don't need so many books. I just need high quality and I need a lot of reviews and the rest will take care of itself. And this is kind of when I put the whole puzzle together in my mind and it has changed the way that I do things now going forward. So I'll explain how this process works. Go on Amazon, go on the best sellers list, um, put in any really competitive keyword. I don't know, maybe it's guitar or something like that. Go to the top. You will find that all the books have a few things in common. Uh, they're really high quality, really nice covers. Uh, they have hundreds, high hundreds, if not thousands of reviews on them. And they've been around for a little while, like maybe not a crazy amount of time, but probably at least two years. So these books, when you go down, to the bestseller ranking on them, you'll see that the bestseller ranking is usually always between like one and around 3000, but usually like even under a thousand, these are the top thousand books. So when a book is showing up between one and 3000, this means that it's gonna be selling thousands of copies every month. And the closer you get to one, the more thousands you can add on top of that. So if you take a book that uh, is at the top, it's got thousands of reviews. BSR is really low, it's selling tons every single day. That book just gets stronger. So it's like a feedback loop. Um, <clears throat> Amazon favors that book because it's selling lots and it's getting lots of reviews. So more sales equals more sales equals more reviews equals more reviews. So once it gets to a certain extent, like Amazon takes over and organically that book will just continue to get more powerful and get more reviews and it will rank higher on the bestsellers list and it'll make you more money. So you need to do the initial work early and then after that, that book basically takes care of itself. 
and it's just gonna go on and infinitely make you money. But you have to do the initial work to get some traction on it, uh, get some reviews on it, and uh, help it take off. You can't just throw it up on Amazon and expect it to uh, you know, explode. And when you follow this method, $10,000 for one book isn't even crazy. There's books that are doing 30 or 50 or even 100 a month, just one book. Ultra high competition niche, and it has tons of reviews, it's high quality, and it's basically just, it's ranked so high that it's just getting tons of sales. And like I said, the book just keeps getting bigger, or bigger and better over time. Now, if you don't believe me, and uh, I can hear like someone on Reddit or the keyboards going, oh, this is, this video is BS. Like my books only make, uh, you know, $50 a month. Well, it's like, you need this video because I already know what you're doing wrong. You need to create a grandma book. You need to focus on marketing that and you got to push really hard on that one book. Don't dilute your efforts with hundreds of really junky books. It's way more effort to go out there and to do like a hundred different books. You know how, how easy and how much less stressful it is just to put all your effort into one book. And it also pays better too. You can go and look up um, BSR calculator or bestseller ranking calculator, go in, put in paperback or Kindle and put in the BSR and you can see how many copies roughly uh, a book that's ranked high is actually selling each day and do the math. You can kind of guesstimate what the royalty would be for the book. And there you have it. You have 10 K or you have 30 or even more depending on the book. And this is all front end money. Like if you're, you're making this much on just the front end book sales, you can sell something through the back of the book by getting people to sign up for an email list and make infinitely more money than this. So I'm just talking about front end. So just to make a counter argument to what I'm saying about the, the one book method, um, the downfall to this is that it's going to take time to get traction and also Probably within your niche, there is multiple topics that are not going to be covered in one book. So you probably want to do more than one book. But if you have really limited time, I'm going to tell you, like you have a job and stuff, don't feel bad about doing one to two books in a year. Um, you'll end up outperforming people doing this full time, doing it wrong, creating mass amounts of poor or of low quality books. Uh, if, if this is your full time job and you're really going after it, uh, I recommend maybe you go after somewhere between four to six in a year, if you even want to. And that might be the extent of your niche. That might be the entire brand. And then you can just build on those reviews and uh, work on a backend product later. But uh, yeah, so I hope this was helpful. It, it literally took me three years to learn this. And I would say that it's gonna save you a ton of time. There's the cat. Everyone's gonna comment on the cat now. So the lesson here is it's way better to create one amazing book and market the hell out of it than to make a hundred crappy books that are going to die off. So I hope this is helpful. I mean, it's hard to believe it took me three years to put all this together, but it will save you a lot of time. And if this was helpful, please subscribe, uh, hit like, maybe throw a comment down there. I will get back to them within 24 hours if you have any additional questions. Thanks so much, guys. Peace.